Hi, Jenny here. Today is kind of a rainy, dreary day out, so I thought I would make some comfort food for dinner. We are going to make a hearty homestyle chicken pot pie. Let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need two cans of some type of a cream soup. I prefer cream of broccoli, but I didn't find that at the store, so I'm going with cream of celery. And then one cup of milk, a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, four cups of cooked up vegetables. So again, any type of vegetables you want. I'm going to go with some cauliflower and broccoli. And then two cups of chicken and one can of biscuits. The vegetables are supposed to be pre-cooked, so you could either use frozen. I prefer to use fresh. So I'm just going to cut up my vegetables, throw them in water, and get those boiling, um, and then cut up the chicken. What I find, if you ever have like black spots on some of your cauliflower or broccoli, um, I just cut that off with a knife. Cooking is going to take care of anything that would be on there anyways, but I just cut off those unsightly spots. All right, I have the vegetables on the stove getting ready to boil. I'm going to cut up my chicken. I just bought some chicken breast tenders this time, make it easier and faster to cook up in the pan. I like to put a little oil in my pan when I'm cooking up the chicken. And you want to use a fresh um, mat to cook, to cut your chicken, just so you don't cross-contaminate anything. that I find with the tenders though, they always have that little tendon in there. I don't know why, I don't see that really in the chicken breasts. You have a tender, you got the little... So I try to fillet that off. Just because. All right, here we have our vegetables boiling, and I'm going to cook up the chicken. In the meantime, I'm going to preheat the stove to 400. When the chicken is done cooking, um, we're going to put that and the vegetables and the soup and all that in the 9 by 13 pan, and then we're going to cook that for a little while.
when you figure the chicken is finished cooking, when there isn't any more like pink in the middle, we're going to put our cans of soup in here, the quarter teaspoon of thyme, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper, one cup of milk. We're going to mix that all up, and then we're just going to add our chicken in there. I'm going to drain the vegetables and then also add the vegetables in here. All right, we're going to now cook that for 15 minutes. While our dish is cooking, we want to open up our biscuits and cut them into quarters. All right, this has cooked for 15 minutes so far. Now we are going to put all the, the buns on top of it, so it covers the top, and we're going to cook it for another 15 minutes. So here it is, after coming out of the oven. Yummy! We're gonna let it cool and then we will taste it. And here it is, all cooled off. So let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Very comforting, especially the rolls in there. Mm. Of course, those taste best the first day. They don't really uh, keep for a leftover type of food, but that's still good. Um, this is type of a, an easy dish, though, too, that you can make, like Thanksgiving is coming up soon. Actually, when this is posted, Thanksgiving will be over. So you got Thanksgiving leftovers. So instead of the chicken, you can use turkey. You can use some of your leftover vegetables, throw it all together. Um, you can use, you know, if you have cooked up chicken, like in the beginning of the week, I like to throw a couple breasts in a crock pot, and I cook those up and use those for during the week. So if you already have that cooked, this can make it a fast and easy dish. Um, vegetables, again, you can use frozen vegetables or anything else. Uh, I prefer to use fresh, so I make it that way. That's just me. So let me know if you guys like to eat a pot pie or a different type that you make. I mean, this isn't the type you usually think about when you think of a pot pie, but it's so good. So I hope you're having a good one. Keep it positive and go make it a great day. Bye-bye.